This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 345, Home is Where the Red Phone Is, and I Don't Love You Anymore, from the audiobook Essential, Essays by the Minimalists, and I'm Justin Mollick. Welcome back to OLD, where I read to you from some of the best personal development and minimalism blogs I can find, with author permission, of course. And I have bonus permission today, and really for the next couple of days, I haven't read from the minimalists in a while, and I should more often because they've been great to me. They've mentioned this show on their podcast a few times, and they were the very first authors to say yes to this idea of me reading blogs to you. I would not be where I am right now without them. So if you haven't checked them out yet, please do. And you might not know that I did their audiobook for Essential Essays by the Minimalists, and as of a day or two ago, another book, Minimalism, Live a Meaningful Life. I narrated that one too, and that audiobook is also now available through Audible and iTunes. By the way, if you're interested in an audiobook service like Audible, you can get a month trial and a free audiobook, so you can get one of those two books that I narrated for The Minimalists. And if you cancel your trial, they'll not only let you keep the book, but Audible will also donate a little bit to this show. So you'd be supporting The Minimalists, this show, and you get a free audiobook. To do that, just go to oldpodcast.com slash free. And now for the next couple of days, just to return the favor to The Minimalists for all their support over the last year, I'm gonna do a couple of days where I play you excerpts from the audiobook, Essential Essays by the Minimalists. And I think the full audiobook is like six hours long. It was a huge project. And the Minimalists said I could share it with you, which is very kind of them. Again, if you like it, you can get that or their other audiobook, Minimalism, Live a Meaningful Life, for free with an audible trial at oldpodcast.com slash free. Now let's get to this audiobook as we optimize your life. An excerpt from the audiobook Essential, Essays by the Minimalists. Home is Where the Red Phone Is, by Joshua Fields Milburn. I don't enjoy traveling as much as some people. Unless I'm touring, which I'm doing at the time of this writing, which I enjoy because the people are amazing, I tend to avoid exorbitant travel, opting instead to stay home in my community most of the time. All my clothes will likely fit in a single suitcase, but I don't enjoy living out of a suitcase. I find value in traversing the globe, in discovering new cultures, and learning more about myself in the process, but I truly enjoy living in a home, a place I can call my own. The problem with homes, however, is once we establish a long-term dwelling, it's easy to accumulate a bunch of junk we don't need. I built my first house when I was 22, a feat that seems ridiculous now, but its size was even more ridiculous. It contained three bedrooms, even though only my former spouse and I lived there, It had a huge basement, which was a great place to hide last month's discarded new possessions, toys I no longer played with. It featured not only a gigantic living room, but also an entertainment room, which I think is pretty much just a fancy way to say room with a too large TV and expensive surround sound system. We think we have to fill all our space, every corner nook and hidden cranny crammed with supposed ornaments. We believe if a room is nearly empty, then it is underutilized. So we buy stuff, silly stock paintings, decorative thingies, and Ikea furniture to fill the void. What we're doing is attempting to establish the place in which we live as our home, an extension of ourselves. And so the logic goes, the more I buy, the more this place is my home. The problem with this line of thinking is it's circuitous. Your home is your home for one reason. You call it your home. The stuff doesn't make it your home. You do. If you need a reminder, you can do what I do. Find one thing, something unique, and display it somewhere prominent. For me, it's a red phone, a relic from my 12 years in the telecom industry. It's a simple, beautiful design that stands out. The same phone is in the Museum of Modern Art. And whenever I see it, I know I'm home. For you, your red phone could be a -a one-of-a-kind painting, a photograph, a child's frame drawing. When you have a single reminder of home, everything else begins to look superfluous, even silly. What is your red phone? I Don't Love You Anymore by Joshua Fields Milburn. There weren't any tears during my most recent breakup. No possessions strewn across the lawn. No passive aggression. No yelling, fighting, or angry text messages. There's only a twinge of relief. An unexpected pang of freedom. The moment it all ended, I just stood there, an awkward silence between us. When I finally handed her the bag of clothes, I knew there was no turning back. But her features held no sign of sadness. More like a look of gratitude. As I drove away, I didn't once look in the rear view. Thankfully, this estrangement wasn't with a person, but with a large chunk of my wardrobe. If I would have anthropomorphized that bag of clothes before I handed it to the pretty girl at Goodwill, I would have told it, quote, it's not you, it's not even me, it's us. We're no longer right for each other. I just don't love you anymore, unquote. 
I realized it was time for us to part ways just last week after I pulled on a t-shirt and immediately wanted to wear something else. It was a decent shirt, one I got a lot of use out of, but I didn't love wearing it anymore, and I hadn't loved wearing it in a while. So I decided to go through my already minimal closet and dump every item I didn't love. I'd rather own just a few outfits, outfits I enjoy wearing, clothes I feel confident in, a wardrobe that brings me joy, than a mediocre collection of once-loved threads. Sometimes love sunders, and we must move on. The things we once loved, we may not love forever. You just listened to an excerpt from the audiobook Essential, Essays by the Minimalists. I won't go through the whole thing again since I mentioned it at the top of the show. I'll just say really quickly that you can support the minimalists, me, and yourself, really, if you get their audiobooks through oldpodcast.com slash free. If you like this podcast, you'll love their audiobooks because it's pretty much exactly the same of what I just played to you. And I'm gonna keep this ending nice and short for you today. Have a great rest of your weekend. And for Minimalist Monday tomorrow, I'm gonna play some more of this audiobook for you. Some more essays from the minimalists. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.